Greetings, everyone. Frank here, and welcome to another awesome episode of Mystery Pack Monday. I hope everyone's Monday is going well so far. Uh, mine? That's yeah, pretty good. I went bowling last night. That was pretty good. One, one game out of six. Not too shabby. So yeah, I, I'm still riding a little high from bowling yesterday. Uh, I'm sure you can hear in the background the washing machine. I apologize for that. And now I'm just rambling. Sorry. <laughs> so today's video is probably going to be a long one. Just because uh, I leave for New York this Thursday. Heading down there. Going to be finally, for the first time in my life, heading to WrestleMania. I've uh, been a longtime wrestling fan ever since the Attitude Era. That was my era of wrestling. And... Um, yeah, so I'm doing the whole bit, man. I'm doing the Hall of Fame, WrestleMania, NXT, Raw, SmackDown, Fan Access, you name it, I am doing it. So anyway, so I'm still going to be in New York next Monday, so I'm not 100% sure if there's going to be a Mystery Pack Monday next week. Although knowing me, there probably will be, and it'll be live from New York. <laughs> Uh, basically, I'm probably going to try and find uh, a card shop or something out there and see if I could get some better deals there than I do here. So, in other words, anyone out there watching this, if you know any card shops in New York, more specifically, you know, around the Times Square area, because I'm going to be staying uh, on Broadway, uh, if you know any card shops that are around there or relatively close I mean I am gonna be uh, getting a, an all-week Metro pass so it's not that bad if I have to take transportation but I just don't want to travel too far but if anyone out there knows of any good card shops you know in the relative area hit me up in the comments below because I want to go check them out anyway so since starting this video me not being a hundred percent sure if there will be a video next week uh, I decided to collect a whole bunch of stuff here and uh, show show everyone. So uh, I got some stuff the other day at uh, a local flea market. Uh, some of the stuff I'm not going to show you right now. I'm going to show you near the end of the video. But I will show you these that I picked up. Some Series 8 Garbage Pail Kids in the old wax packages. Still complete with gum that I will not eat when I open these. And I'm not going to open these today because since I know the seller has a lot more of these old Garbage Pail Kid packs, I'm going to buy a bunch more when I get back from uh, New York, and I'm just going to do a whole separate video opening them. Also, speaking of when I get back from New York, uh, there's going to be a big card show coming up here in town, and I already got my ticket. Uh, I got a, a VIP ticket, so I'm guaranteed between $20 to $100 worth in hockey cards so that should be exciting and uh, I'm going to be hitting that show up checking for hockey maybe some random baseball stuff and uh, when I bought these wacky pa uh, I keep mixing that up wacky packages and garbage pail kids the guy did have some old wax packs of wacky packages too so I'm planning on getting those from him also but uh, when I was buying these the guy told me um, a buddy of his who, who also has a stall at the flea market he's going to be at the show and he has cases, or, or I'm assuming like, like the hobby boxes of the old Garbage Pail Kids. And he's trying to get rid of them. So he was telling me, he goes, if you run into him, talk to him. Maybe you could spark up a deal and uh, you know, maybe he'll let a couple boxes go for a cheap price. So when I heard that, I was like on cloud nine. So you can guarantee when I hit up that show in two weeks... I'm definitely going to be doing that. So probably somewhere in the near future, there's going to be some really hefty Garbage Pail Kids and possibly Wacky Packages uh, videos coming up. So yeah, just wanted to let you guys know. All right, so now that I got that out of the way, uh, we're going to open a couple of these 15-card uh, random packs first from the dollar store. So let's get the old blade and see what we got in here. 
These are always a mishmash of cards, but I don't mind. I like them. So first we have Nicholas Backstrom, Daniel Shank, Hubby McDonough. Oh, that's a 91. 90 or 91? That's a 90. 90 Bowman. That's going in the set. Oh, damn. Ed Olchick. It's so funny seeing hockey cards of him because when I play NHL, um, I think it's 18 on my Xbox, he's one of the play-by-play -play guys, so that's pretty cool. And that's that's also at Pro Set. Yeah, that's, I think, Pro Set 1 that's or 2, I forget, but that's going in the set also. I'm trying to put that together. Uh, here we have Bill McDougal. <laughs> we have here Jason Arnott. I remember him from back in the day. Here we have uh, Damon Lanko, or Cal, however you pronounce it. Rookie. That's pretty cool. Uh, one of the more notable uh, devils I remember, Patrick Eliash. I always liked him. Eric Stahl, very cool. What do we have here? We got a Carl Dykus rookie. You know, whenever I see these ni these 1990 score rookie cards, I keep them now. Um, this one, I have, um, what the hell is his name? Oh, the name's not coming to me now. Oh, my God. There's another uh, rookie I have from this set. And uh, my dad, oh, bless his little soul, has... The Martin Brodeur rookie card from this set. And I want it so much because Martin Brodeur is my all-time favorite modern goalie. So I've been bugging Dad for a while now for it. So we'll see if he finally breaks and lets me have it. Uh, this is... Oh, Sergei Fedorov. Very nice. Here we have Brian Leach. Very cool. Ha <laughs> ha! Homeboy, Sergio Momesso. He has an awesome restaurant downtown. And uh, it, it's so weird seeing him in a Canucks jersey because I know him as a as a hab. So that's very cool. I like listening to him on the radio. When, when he does play-by-play, -play, he sounds like such a... I wouldn't say mafioso, but he just has that accent. Uh, it, it's awesome, awesome listening to him do play-by-play. Troy Millette, also pro sets. That's going in the set there. And we have a very cool George Vezina, La Belle Provence between the pipes card. This is probably an insert, but this is very cool because George Vezina, obviously the namesake of the Vezina Trophy, awarded to the best goalie in the league every year. Uh, Nickname, the Shakutami Cucumber, <laughs> for those who didn't know. And... Uh, that's just very, very cool. So, and also, you know, play with the Habs back in the day. So, that was just really cool, too. <laughs> and I mean, like, way back in the day. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get in this one. All righty, we have Sammy Vatanen. No, right? Mark Habsheed. Alrighty. Oh, we got another Bowman. It's Chris Govdaris. Yeah. I'm not too familiar with a lot of the Hartford Whalers players besides the Howe line, Gordy Mark, and oh god. Oh, I forget the third one now. Anyway, you guys know. <laughs> And we have Ron Wilson, OPG. That's very cool. That's what, 91? I think so. Those are pretty cool cards. Who we have here? Zygmunt Palfi. Very cool. And then again, Zygmunt Palfi. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, a lot of these, these packs are very hit or miss. Then we have Alan Bester. That's going in the uh, the goalie binder. Then we have we have Rob 
Zamnir. I I have a, a card from this set signed. I got in one of those mystery packs. Yeah, it's okay. Who we have here? Turner Stevenson. Not a, a a New Jersey Devil that I'm familiar with. We have 1990s record setters. Oh, Yari Curry. Yeah, one of uh, Gretzky's uh, one of Gretzky's uh, watchmen next to uh, what's his face, uh, S -S um, Semenko. I want to say his last name was. Here we have Scott Pellerin. The name is familiar. Not 100% familiar with him. Oh, yeah. D, I love these cards. Oh, my God. And Jerry Cheevers. I'm not a big Boston fan. Because, you know, being in Montreal and all. Well, actually, okay. Not a big Boston fan due to living in Montreal. I like the, the whole rivalry thing and whatnot. So it's fun to boo them. But old school Boston, oh, I love it. And especially Jerry Cheever's pre-stitched up goalie mask. That's freaking cool. Very cool card. I got to track this set down. <laughs> it's a Parkhurst set, so that's pretty neat. Then we have, who's this? Oh, Joey Coker. I believe he played with Montreal. No, he didn't. He played with the Red Wings. All right. I'm thinking of the wrong guy. But that's pretty cool. Then we have Tom Fitzgerald from Pro Set. So again, that's going with the others. And then finally, we got another Habs legend, greats of the game, Mr. Bill Dernan, Mr. Ambidextrous himself. Yes, folks. If you ever see pictures on Google of Bill Dernan playing and whatnot, you'll notice that he never used the traditional blocker and trapper like every other goalie does. But instead, he used two blockers. Yes. Very cool. Uh, he was also, I believe, the last goalie uh, to serve as captain of a team. I know Roberto Luongo, a while back when he was playing with the Canucks, wore the C. But he didn't have it very long. But Bill Dernan of the Montreal Canadiens is considered the last like official goalie to last wear the C and then they they changed it up and everything so again very very cool so that's those random 15 card packs from the dollar store very cool I'm just gonna put these aside and then we're gonna jump into a couple of these mystery packs and I believe both of these have um, jersey cards in them. So we shall see what we get as soon as I move more of this stuff out of the way. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's go with this pack first with old Ryan Hartman on the back there. Da, da, da. Of course, I want to... Flip everything around. Hold this off camera. Put that at the back. All right. So we have. Uh, you guys probably saw it already, but I didn't. We have Steven Stamkos of the like super super hot <laughs> Tampa Bay Lightning right now, and it's another one of those autographs stamped on the card. Cards. Very cool. Here we have Heroes and Prospects, Memorial Cup Champions, Scott Timmons from, what team is that? What team is he wearing? Oh, the Spitfires. That's, um, oh, again, not, not, not coming to mind right now. Uh, next we have, is this another Brian Leach? No, this is... Derek Steppen of the Rangers. You know, when I used to get these with the, the gold siding, I was like, ah, whatever. But the more I see them now, they're pretty cool. And I know in uh, 
uh, not the latest video Frost did. I still have to watch that. The one he did the other day showing some of his cards from when he was a kid. And when he was showing the hockey cards, it, it was so cool seeing him pull up a Wayne Gretzky from this set. So that was pretty neat. Uh, next, of course, we have Ryan Hartman and our, I think, rookie. Oh, yeah, rookie. Uh, Jersey or auto is Nikolai Goldobin. <laughs> again, I apologize for butchering the names. And again, if Frost is watching this, you'll see it's from your your homeboys, the San Jose Sharks. That's pretty cool. It's not on card. It's on the little piece of tape. But of a lot of the uh, autograph cards I've gotten in the past, this one's actually pretty nice. Yeah. So, now we got that. That's pretty neat. I'll just put that there. Um, I believe I am actually out of top loaders right now. So I got to get some more later. So when when I do, that'll be going in a top loader along with all the other ones. All right. Let's see what we have in this one. I have a feeling, since that's a, an autograph card, I have a feeling this might actually be a, a jersey card. Just, just saying, you know. So we're going to flip these and see what we got. So first we have... From a set I really like here well, in the game, it's Heroes and Prospects. Corey Perry playing with the London Knights. Very cool. Then we have Mike Gardner of the Capitals. Also very cool. Then we have a checklist, victory checklist with Steven Stamkos on it. I'm not the biggest fan of checklists unless I'm actually doing the whole set but whatever now we have another opg platinum brandon sad or sad <laughs> and our hit card of this pack is and one jersey card of matt reed not too familiar with matt reed but it's a jersey card so it's cool in my books We'll just put him up here next to Mr. All Nikolai Goldobin. <laughs> Alrighty, let's put these up here. Let's move these off to the side. We're at like 17 minutes. I hope you guys are still with me. <laughs> now, let's see what we got from the old uh, flea market, shall we? So first, for 25 cents, got me this nice OPG. Like, really, really nice Stefan Richet of the Montreal Canadiens card. Um, in my books, the last big superstar the Habs ever had. Last 50 goal scorer in a season. But, um, yeah, it is what it is. I know some might say, you know, oh, but what about P.K. Subban? And what about Carey Price? Yes, both very, very, very good players. Carey Price, love the guy to death, awesome goalie, but again, he's a superstar here in Montreal. Everywhere else in the league, he's good, but nah. P.K. Subban also, when he was here, he was a superstar, but again, he was good, but nah. You got to be on a, on a really good team where you know, everyone is good. <laughs> anyway, so we got that. Uh, this I didn't get at the uh, flea market. This I got at my card shop uh, the other day when I was getting these mystery packs. It is a baseball card, and it is none other than Randy Johnson's rookie card. This is what, Don Russ, 1989. And it's a double win for me because it's... Randy Johnson's rookie card, and it's a Montreal Expos card, so that's really cool. Uh, this I did get at the flea market yesterday. It's, as I said, you know, those score 1990-91 rookie cards. It's none other than Yarmer Yager's rookie card. I paid two bucks for this, and uh, this is this is just awesome. Look, look, at, look at him. Look at that young punk, huh? 
1990 rookie season. He's going to go on and win a Stanley Cup. And then little does he know, the following season, he's going to win another Stanley Cup. Hot damn. <laughs> then I got this game-worn jersey card, which was also a buck. This is from Crown Royal 2004. Authentic, uh, authentic, authentic game worn jersey of Ryan Miller. Very cool. When he was with the Buffalo Sabres, back when I was a really big fan of Ryan Miller back in his heyday. Now he's he's getting up there, so that's pretty cool. And it's number forty two to two fifty. Ryan wore this sweater in two thousand three two thousand four. His second NHL season. With the Sabres. Very cool. Then we have this awesome, like, really big patch of Braden Holtby. Banner Year card. Very cool. You can see my reflection. <laughs> well, this is very cool. Look how thick this thing is, huh? My God. That was cool. That that was a little more. That was eight bucks. Marked down from twelve. So I, I didn't mind. That was cool. Under ten, no problem. Then this I got it at my shop when when I got the the John, Randy Johnson rookie card. This was a little bit more. This was around twenty five bucks, but I don't care because it's a Habs card, and on top of it is my very first RPA. For those who are curious, what an RPA is, although I'm sure a lot of you already know, it is a rookie patch auto card and it is of gabriel dumont so as you can see it's a rookie card there's a patch and there's an autograph so that's very cool and it's also numbered 59 to 99 so yeah that's that's awesome so and um with all that awesomeness that's it that's all i got for you so 22 minutes I told you guys this was going to be a long one, but anyway, it is what it is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give her a thumbs up. If not, give her a thumbs down. And uh, let me know in the comments what uh, some of your favorite cards were from this, this video as well. Uh, like I said, anyone uh, from the New York area, let me know of any awesome card shops, you know, around, uh, you know, downtown Manhattan or whatever, or in the in the relative vicinity because i want to hit them up and um yeah that's it so uh again hope you like this video if you did uh like comment subscribe and uh keep on collecting what you love to collect till next time folks i'm frank and i'll be seeing you laters oh also don't forget uh i believe collector holic He's doing a 100 subscriber contest right now. Uh, all you got to do to enter is um, go to one of his last videos. I believe it's a mail, mail day video. And all you got to do is like, comment, and subscribe. As well as, well, yeah, subscribe. And uh, you're entered into the contest. I, I did uh, a couple days ago. So I just wanted to put that out there. It's his 100 subscriber contest. I think I just mentioned that. I apologize. Again, it's Monday. It's early in the morning. And um, yeah, just wanted to put that out there. Get, give an old shout out to Collector Holic and uh, you know, put, push him closer to that 150 mark or maybe even 200. Alrighty, guys. So I'll see you next time. Laters.